Good afternoon. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, it's the Gioe Tech PMR171. This radio comes with a battery pack which clips on the bottom and it's got everything you can think of. It's got a normal mic and it's got the military handset. So why the radio? Well when I started probably a year ago, maybe a little bit longer, doing POTA activations, it wasn't that hard to find a spot that hadn't been activated before. It started getting more difficult and then I started looking for remote places that I could get to with a Land Cruiser and most of those have now been activated and you've got to drive further and further to, to find somewhere. And then I started to realize that in a lot of the cases I need to walk not far, 100 meters, 200 meters, 500 meters, which isn't the issue. The only thing was for my POTA activations, I'd been using my Yaesu FT891 and a car battery. The car battery is a big battery and it probably weighs 15 kilos. I'm not going to carry that for 500 meters. So I was busy having a chat to Nick ZL2NEB and he said to me, have you seen this radio? So let's pull the headset out. I said no and I found this radio. Um, for me the biggest thing is having the battery attached and it has a rucksack option. It has a lot of options but let's call the rucksack option the first one. So it comes with this, it doesn't, an option is the backpack. The radio slides in, you've got two slides to put your telescopic masks in. It's got the pocket at the bottom that's zipped which you can put your antenna and your coax in. So everything's in one spot and your and your battery's attached to the radio. I didn't want to start improvising with extra leads and all sorts of stuff. I want the radio to be together to work and not give me hassles. That's the big thing. The next point is when I'm operating from the battery, I still get 20 watts. Um, it's a 5 amp hour battery. I've had it running on receive and transmit on activations for up to an hour and a half and the batteries never drop more than one bar. So theoretically it's, I've used 20% in two hours. That's with intermittent talking but still. So I like the battery. The other thing I like is it's got a waterfall, it's got a tuner. The tuner will tune from 1.8 to 74 megahertz. Now we don't have 4 meters in New Zealand, but it will go to 4 meters. It obviously does 6 meters without a problem. The tuner is very quiet and the tuner has a memory. So if you have tuned an antenna and you go back to that frequency, same antenna, it's there instantly. Which I really like. Um, I'm not into CW, although I did it and passed 12 words a minute. It's also got a CW decoder built in. And it's got lots of lots of functions. It's got a preamp, um, it's got, you can set the volume in the headset apart from the volume on the radio, um, it's got gain control, it's basically you can set everything and it just, I, I really like it, it works. Having the VHF, UHF, HF option I think is very nice for emergencies, so if the Alpine fault gives us a jolt, um, I've got comms. I don't have to start looking for batteries and I just take the one rucksack or backpack with me with a radio in and I've got everything I need. On the front of the radio you've got a, a VHF UHF antenna socket, you've got a HF antenna socket so you also as options get man pack antennas so you get one that does VHF UHF and you can have this on your back with the antenna sticking up talking while you're walking. So if you're patrolling and you're looking for people you can call in all the time. If you were close enough you could still use VHF UHF but it does everything. I like that. You can get a GPS module which the antenna plugs in here. You can also get a DMR module although I don't personally believe this is the radio you're really looking for for DMR but that's up to you. Uh, you can also get a compass module. I never got the modules. Um, 
I don't think it's the application, but we will have them in stock. The radio, as I say, it just works for me, but having the battery on it is a winner. So if you go and buy a similar radio, you're going to be paying between 950 and 1000 bucks. You don't have VHF and UHF. You don't have the battery. So this comes with the battery and the charger. So for 1295, you get everything that you need with the battery and the charger. As I say, there are options, and the options are things like the backpack, um, the portable antennas that screw on the top, the military handset, the headphones, but the radio comes with everything you need. So what was exciting about the radio, I had the radio for a few hours, I went through the manual, I've got a wideband antenna, which is about two decibels lower than a dipole, but it works everywhere from 1.8 to 60 megs. So I plugged that into this, and on the first afternoon, I contacted locally Nick ZL2NEB. Um, I then spoke to, I must look them up here, I've spoken to ZL3RIK, ZL3GMT, ZL3RY, ZL2BHF, uh, ZL2 Echo Foxtrot, ZL1 KRH, and a few others, but those were local contacts. Um, Nick was here, and he was playing with the radio, and he came running through saying he's just spoken to Whiskey 5 India Bravo in Texas. Um, full ZL3 PAE, popped in late in the afternoon, and he had the radio on in the shack and he started playing around with it and he spoke to Oscar Tango 4 Alpha which was the last contact on 20 watts then we had the uh, CQ Worldwide SSB competition and I thought this is perfect because there's a whole bunch of people calling all the time and obviously some of the stations especially the Japanese stations I struggled with they were running a kilowatt I was running 20 watts but I had a really great QSO with Serbia. Zulu Lima 1 Golf Uniform Delta. Uh, golf Uniform. Uh, Zulu Lima 1 Golf Uniform Delta. Uh, golf Uniform Delta 5915. Uh, yeah, 5932. So, just playing around in the last week, we've had three QSOs around the world. Um, lots of local QSOs, we've chased quite a lot of POTA activations, I've done one POTA activation, and the radio works, the reports have been good, it's, it is 20 watts, I've got to get used to the 20 watts and not having 100 watts all the time, but what I've also done is in the past I had a dipole, and I really believe dipoles give you a, a better signal, and what I've done with this now, I've got the spider beam 12 meter mast. So I put that up at full 12 meters and I've got a, a resonant dipole for 40 meters at 12 meters. But I love this radio. This radio which comes VHF, UHF, HF, all mode, tuner, everything built in with a battery and a charger is 1295. There isn't another radio of this sort for this price what they also do which I really like you get a flash drive a USB flash that comes with it and the USB flash drive has got the manual the software and the programming software I'm um, trying to program it just with the buttons is a bit laborious uh, whereas with the software it's on the screen like any other programming software and I can program especially for the VHF UHF repeaters I put them straight in, you can put the tones, the offsets, it's just easy. And that all comes on a flash drive. Um, if you are considering starting with Pota Sota, especially Sota stuff where you're going up peaks, this is a great option. The other thing that's quite nice is if you are looking at being prepared for the next earthquake, uh, it's a really good option because it does all VHF, UHF, HF, and you can do everything from one radio being a 5 amp hour battery it's going to last you a fair amount of time and you can do everything you're not struggling with solar panels and other stuff you've got 
you go out, you can do what you need to do, and it works. For the price, you can't go wrong. And I'm very pleased with my decision. I'm pleased that uh, we've got the agency for them. We've got a lot of stock arriving. The stock will be here at the moment. We, we've been told mid-November. It'll definitely be here for Christmas. I'm repeating myself, but I see this radio as the Alpine Fault radio, the Sota Pota radio, anything like that. You go camping, this is the radio. You go to the beach, this is the radio. You don't need to have batteries and power cords. And you just plug it, you just turn it on and it works. That's what I'm looking for.